Hi, I'm Emily. Hello, my name is Noor. I'm Alim. My name is Marwa Limbali. My name is Olga. My name is Edgar. My name is Ralph. My name is Marita. I'm Steven. My name is Adigleson Rodriguez. I am Igena Jaferai. If you speak outside this conference, no one will listen to you, but those people who were here, they actually care about what you're saying. So that's the main reason why you came, to be listened to. I'm Ellen. Um, I've been working recently on to eradicate world poverty. But don't worry about it. It's all figured out. Well, no, I think that we should worry about it because it's everyone's problem. So I think I have a meeting about this. I have a discuss. Okay. Yeah. I'm late right now, so thank you. No. <laughs> Why actually young people should participate in such events? Why is it so important? I think it is very important for them to participate because everyone has an idea and they all know what they want in their future and without our participation, they won't know what the youth want and what their ideas are. So if we can't participate, then we won't know what to expect and we won't have any say in what happens to us. So which goal of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, which one is closest to you? There are a couple of things in our education system that we can improve and develop. So I was also talking with the Prime Minister of Latvia and we kind of came to some kind of conclusions about what can we actually improve. Even though we are children, we have the right to participate in decision-making processes that have an impact on us. What do you think can be done to make sure children's voices are heard and taken into account to improve quality services and thereby reduce poverty? It's a question of legitimacy. If in any democracy, the majority would decide who would be the governor or who would be uh, ruling the country. And if we have a world today where half of the world's population under 25 years of age, and we're not consulting them, then we're in a big trouble. And what we're trying to reverse here and with the SDGs is to start with a global consultation. You should measure what you treasure, right? If we really care about youth participation, youth development, we should have all the right indicators and the new development agenda to measure that. You should not expect all young people to come to conference rooms. I think we really need to find different ways of engaging young people in the way we, 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 we do development and the way we engage them in democracies and the way we engage them in, in governments. How can we expect young people, not only in Ireland but all over the world, to get involved in making these goals a reality? We need to think of education system that allow young people to be equipped with the skills and tools and how to think, not what to think. What can the UN do to encourage the gender equality in Lebanon and Middle East and empower females to be equal uh, as men? Less than 6% of all parliamentarians around the world under 30 years old. And that's a situation also for young men and young women. But young women, they even face much more difficulties in access in politics or obtaining their, their uh, uh, civic rights. And I think these numbers, they should be reversed. What I want to know is how we can include awareness about climate change within schools and our education, especially from an early age, so that they will be aware of what dangers and on what we can do to prevent it. Whose responsibility for Paris? The responsibility clearly is with governments, with the EU. Political leaders now have to make, take the right decisions. They have to make the decisions for the long term and be brave and do it. It's, otherwise, it's too late. We will be looking... The, you know, your, the future, your generation will not thank us if we do not take our responsibilities. But you have to help us take our responsibilities by creating the climate for politicians to take decisions. It was very inspiring for me to be with uh, young people here. So young people uh, will be silent. Then how government will know? Therefore, I ask all of you, please participate. And all together we can uh, change our 
planet and the world for next generations. If in 15 years time nothing has changed and we're still having the same debates, that will be a failure. And in a way, I don't think the world can afford to have that failure. So we have to act as well as talk as well. What do you think about children participation and how do they participate in Europe? When kids are 12 and 15, they can decide on, on, uh, on bigger things. But I think it's important to give the children a say in matters that affect them already from quite early on. And, and perhaps also yes. to encourage children to ask uh, critical questions like, why? why is it so? Yes, children in decision making is important. What will you take from this experience back to your country? I will bring all this information which I have had in today, uh, days before, and uh, all, what, all what I learned before European Development Days. I will tell about um, my trip to Brussels to European Development Days in my school, uh, to my classmates, uh, to motivate also them uh, to have more active life and I think uh, I will also post um, an article in newspaper uh, and I will also post some uh, articles in my blog. <laughs>